In this video, we'll be looking into NECO 25 biology practical prep. So, and the specimen we have for this biology practical 25 NECO is specimen A to O. So, this video is the second category, which means starting from C, D, J, M, N, and O. I've made a video of the first category, which comprises of A, B, E, F, G, K specimen. So, if you need the first category video, just comment that you need the first category video, and I'll send you the link immediately. Now, let's go to the second category video. Now, this second category is specimen C. Specimen C means pride of Barbados, and that is a flower. Everybody, all students can identify what that type of flower is. Then D is being seed. That's what it's a, a, a single bean, a single bean, no plural beans. So the seed. Then J is orange. Also, then know what is an orange. Then guava, we all know guava fruit, orange fruit. Then Irish potato and then sweet potato. Everybody knows all these specimens. They are familiar. I mean, they are specimens that are very familiar to students. Now, let's go to the possible things they can ask you based on this specimen in this second category. So, the first thing they can ask you. In this second category is that they can ask to that to identify the type of germination of in specimen D. So let me name these as 2A. So the type of germination that occur in specimen D. And looking at the specimen D is what is being seed. So what type of germination occur in this specimen D? And that is what FPG. And another question they can ask, let me name that number 2B, is that they can ask you to state the full storage organ in D, in that same specimen D, that's the word being seed. So that you should what, state the food storage, the food storage organ in D. And what is it? That's the word, a what, a cotyledon. Cotyledon. So another thing they can ask you, and let me name that 2C, is that they can ask to identify the fruit type of specimen J and what and M, the type of fruit of specimen J and what and M. So for specimen J, specimen J that's an orange. So that's what Esparidion. And then for M, that's a berry. Berry. And remember that specimen M is a guava. Now another thing they can ask, let me name that 2D. 2D. Now, for that 2D, they can ask you to, to state two uses of specimen J. That means, that means what is an orange use for? So, one is that it is source of vitamin C. Source of what? Vitamin C. Everybody knows that you get vitamin C from where? From an orange. And also, it is used for fruit juice production. So, it is used for what? Used for fruit juice production or for producing fruit juice. So, fruit juice production. Another thing they can ask you is that they can ask you to mention two differences between specimen N and O. So, let me give that 2E. So, they can ask you to mention two differences between specimen N and O. So, let me let me tabulate that. So, specimen N, that's what Irish potato. And then specimen O, that's what sweet potato. So, what differences can be and we talked about them okay now which features are we going to use to differentiate them okay now let's look at in terms of their tuba the types of tuba they have so tuba type this one has a stem tuba stem tuba why this one has a root tuba that means irish potato and what sweet potato so if i also considering in terms of their uh board so there is a presence of bud here, and then there is an absence of what? Absence of bud in this particular one. Okay. Now another thing they can still ask here is that let me name this one um, 2F. That they can ask you to they can ask you that uh, what method of propagation is found in specimen N and O. So propagation found in those in these two specimen N and N and O is what a sexual reproduction you know we have sexual and asexual reproduction so this one's but this one particularly is asexual reproduction so through vegetation um, through vegetative propagation you can put that in English but does write asexual reproduction they say through vegetative propagation okay now for 2g then they can ask us to, or they can ask you to make a well labeled longitudinal section of specimen D. So that means a bean seed. So you can be asked to draw the longitudinal section 
of this specimen D and label very well. That is a B seed. So, um, while learning the diagram of this specimen D, ensure to also learn the diagram of this specimen C, J, M, N, and O as well. At least have an idea of those diagrams and how to label them. So, I'll be ending this video of this second category here. So, in my next video, it's going to entail, or it's going to contain the third category video. So, if you need the, the, the third category video, do well to request for it under the comment section that you want the third category video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to share this video. Give us a like button and a nice comment. Bye.